Nanaimo is an area with one of the highest growing senior populations. They have a huge need for geriatric specialists. So telehealth has actually allowed us to provide geriatric consultation. Hello there. Nice to meet you, young lady. Yes, Denise, I'm very happy to meet you. I'm Dr. Malone. It's completely changed the practice. Now we're able to provide care with me staying in Victoria and the patients staying in Nanaimo and not having to drive. The way it is now with her, this is very, very easy, very nice. She seems so close, you know, very, very easy. Sylvia is going to check your blood pressure and I just want to have a listen to your heart today. Thank you. So Denise, I'm having a listen to your neck right now. Okay, and Denise, just breathe normal for the rest of the exam. The geriatric medicine consultation tends to be very involved. We've managed to trim that down to an hour and a half time, sometimes less, um, with the nurse from the clinic in Nanaimo doing some preliminary assessment. I see both new clients and follow-up visits by telehealth. In some respects, the care I can give by telehealth is perhaps more patient-centered because the patient doesn't have to drive outside of their own community. So I think that's an advantage of telehealth. This is more convenient than Victoria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as far as the relation with the doctor, I, I find this is quite good. There's no, no big difference. Sit and talk over a desk or a chair versus this. I think it's a great technology and it is the way of the future to provide specialist care to remote areas. Thank you okay. very much to have a chance to meet you. Very pleasant. Okay, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Look forward to next time.